Hey there, fellows. Remember this automobile? We made an attempt to put the engine to sleep, running it on oil additives instead of motor oil. What's interesting is that it survived and the car still drives. Feels like it doesn't burn as much oil as it did. It's only a couple of liters per 500 kilometers. So it's all good. So I put it out there. Send in your suggestions as to what else we can do with an indestructible Honda engine. Why indestructible? Now I'll have to agree with the folks who suggested we use a certain liquid that you will find in a car. Namely this stuff right here. This is brake fluid. Now its effects on a car's paint are really brutal. It goes through the clear, the base. People also use it to remove the glue that's left over from window tint, as well as that sticky residue left by sketch tape. The point is, this is a very good solvent. As for what it does to deposits in an engine, for whatever reason, nobody has ever tried. And so people suggested we pour brake fluid into an engine. I'm really curious myself as to what'll happen. Okay, let's do this. Replacing motor oil with brake fluid, what'll happen? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so we removed the oil pan, and inside of it we found some weird substance. Seriously though, it's some kind of plastic, I don't know. Doesn't look like a sealant to me. Looks like some kind of broken plastic. Check this out, guys. We've removed the valve cover and this is what we see. Honestly, there's no evidence of any major issues. I mean, we do see deposits, so this engine has seen some use. Someone might have changed the oil, but it didn't happen often. And so you've obviously got some residue under here. On the head, the cam, all over the place. It's not that thick of a layer, but it's there. Nothing serious, but still. Now we've done this to have a visual reference. And now let's have a look down here. Those areas where you've got more or less constant oil flow are relatively clean, but here that is a lot of residue. Again, nothing too serious, but it's definitely there. Excellent, well, let's throw everything back together and pour in the fluid. Look at how clean it is, and clear like a teardrop. So we've poured it in, and what do we got? This looks excellent. Right on the max level. Tremendous, immediately it has become black. That's because there was still a bit of oil left inside, I mean, it's all over the engine. And the brake fluid has flushed it out and become black. Hey, at least you see it on the dipstick. Maybe it has begun to clean stuff up? Who even knows? Fired up. Did the light go out? It was flickering. Well, what's important is that we have pressure inside the system. We have pressure and that is good. The brake fluid is in the system and it's flowing under pressure. It's uh, performing the motor oil's duties and is lubricating the rubbing parts. Okay, let's allow it to warm up and see what happens. After 10 minutes. So the engine is nice and warm, we're looking good. And for it to start working even better, we need to go for a drive. Let's go. I'm gonna close this trunk and set off. That's some curious chatter. Sounds like a common rail diesel. Okay, well... Let's slowly begin to drive. We're taking it easy, but then you can't really go that fast on this road anyway. Okay, so after driving around for a bit, I've got a sneaking suspicion. Well, actually, it's quite obvious that there's no more smoke. There's no more smoke. Do you like the fact that the car no longer smokes? That's neutral. No more smoke. So there's a benefit right there. We have fixed the smoke issue. 
That's quite peculiar. And here we go. Can you monitor the smoke situation? I can see it. And it is black. Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it back there in your car? So yeah, we do have smoke, but it's now black for some reason. Now there's a ton of white smoke. I reckon... Uh, what color is the smoke? When you were foot to the floor it was black, but now it's white. So wide open throttle it was black, and now it's white. Yeah, the cleansing has begun apparently. Or maybe it hasn't. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's pulling. Is your VTEC up and running? We did clean everything out. Whoa. It feels like it works now. Brake fluid is runny. Very much so. Especially compared to motor oil. Something seems to be working. One minute later... And we have an oil pressure light. And that is a lot of smoke. So this is rather curious. Even VTEC is back online, holy cow. Before that this was tame, it didn't want to pull hard. But now that we're running brake fluid instead of motor oil, you can feel it doing its thing. The engine gets on cam and starts to pull nicely. It is on, off. Won't accelerate. Yeah, it just doesn't want to rev. The engine doesn't want to pull anymore. How far have we driven, like, five kilometers? It was doing so well in the beginning. It is runny, and I'd imagine it does have a cleansing effect. It's definitely flushed something out. It still starts. The brake fluid starts doing something like uh, dissolving some of the deposits, but it's going to require a bit more time. We want it to do a proper job, so we're going to allow it to sit. For the entire day and through the night, and once we're back tomorrow, we can have a look. The next day... Okay, so one day and one night have gone by. The car sat, and we decided to drain the fluid. And honestly... I don't quite understand what sort of consistency this is. But this is grot. Plus, it gives you the impression, granted, I might be imagining this, but it feels slightly thicker. It's meant to be runny like water. But when you stir it, you can tell that this isn't water. So we've purchased another bag, that there is about 5 liters of brake fluid. So let's pour in the fresh stuff, start the engine and do some more driving. 10 kilometers probably isn't enough. I say we keep driving while the car is still able to. Okay, pour it in and let's head out. And now comes the interesting part. We've replaced everything. It is running. And the light is out. The oil pressure warning light is out. But then there will be pressure while it's still cold. So while it's cold, everything's fine. Smoke update, please, I can't see. There's a tiny bit. So there is a bit. I can't see anything from in here. Okay, the engine has warmed up a bit. No smoke? No smoke? None so far. No smoke so far. But then... Looks fine. But we're not at operating temperature yet. Sergey! 
Roll up next to me, let's race for him a dig. Okay, it's nice and warm. Oh yeah, look at that. The light is flickering. Rev your engine. Wait, what? Well, he does have a bit more displacement. See ya! It's actually quite a bit more displacement, like, what is it, 50%? So, duh. We seem to be alright while the car is moving. I see smoke. We have smoke? It's warmed up, so that would explain it. The brake fluid is super runny. And it wasn't thick to begin with. Okay, so after doing a bit of driving on the highway, the oil pressure light is now on constantly. It's not just flickering at idle. And that is not a good situation. It's like we don't have any oil rings and valve seals. Right, I think it's time to head back. So check this out, guys. After driving for almost 25 kilometers, here's what's up. At this point, we're seeing a constantly illuminated uh, oil pressure warning light. And it's not even just at idle. And it only goes out after about 1500 RPM. Then it lights up again and the engine is almost at the point of stalling. A thousand RPM it's on. Give it a tiny bit more. Just a bit more still, a bit more. Yeah, it only goes out after about 1500 RPM. I'd assume it did clean something. Some of the residue unstuck, the clearances are bigger. And so now the motor oil, I mean the brake fluid, isn't as confined. And you have less pressure as a result. Let's hope that's true, but it might be the opposite. When you're smelling that smoke, man, it makes your eyes water. And you'd better make sure not to inhale it. Okay, let's switch it off. Allow it to cool. Then we drop all the fluid we can. Remove the valve cover, oil pan. And see what sort of condition the engine is in. Well, I mean, nothing is really going to happen to the engine itself. I meant to say the residue, what the engine was contaminated with. Has any of it been flushed out or softened up? Maybe nothing has happened at all. We're about to find out. Okay, let's see where we're at. We've removed the valve cover and the oil pan. We've drained all of the fluid, obviously. And this looks rather interesting. First of all, it's quick to drip down. After removing the pan, it dripped down and there aren't many droplets left. Well, compared to motor oil, anyway. So evidently, it is runnier. Yeah, this is pretty interesting indeed. So take a look over here. All of the oil passageways where you have flow, they have gotten cleaner. All of that residue we saw on this cover, you can tell that it has slowly begun to be washed away. The oil pickup is nice and clean, and it has become noticeably cleaner. Also the crankshaft. The webbing used to be covered with quite a bit of residue. I mean, it's still there in a few spots, but there's not nearly as much as there used to be. Plus, the block seems to be a bit cleaner now. You'd recall me mentioning that brake fluid is really hard on paint, as well as glue and whatnot. Anyway, now let's have a look at the oil pan. And that's exactly what I was talking about. 
The paint on the inside of the oil pan has become all fluffy. It has been dissolved, it looks like it's curdling. The paint has begun to peel away from the metal. And with the car parked all night there was constant contact. So the pan is now clean and lacking paint. Well, I mean at least half of it anyway. Dimoxide will actually give you about the same effect. You're not meant to pour brake fluid into an engine. But then Dimoxide also has no business in there. But it brings engines back from the dead, so... But this, I mean, this is really, really, really filthy. Take a look at that. It seems to do a good job with cleaning off residue. Now let's bring the car down and look at the head. So while we were removing the pan and everything was in motion, well, the whole thing was hot and the brake fluid has fully disappeared to the point where these rockers appear to be bone dry. As if they were never lubricated. That tells us the brake fluid has uh, done a great job cleaning out the oil. There is a slight problem in that everything has assumed an orange sort of color. It's hard to tell exactly how much residue has been removed. But looking at the bolts, bearing in mind the picture of what this used to look like with all of the deposits and all of that, while well, um, I'd say nothing much has changed. The residue is still very much there. This was a simple experiment, we were curious to see what happens. And if you decide to try it, well, don't forget about the paint inside the oil pan. You saw it all for yourselves and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.